Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Becca from At Home in the Sun. And today I'm so excited to be showing you all of my new savings challenges I have picked for 2023. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Becca. I live in South Florida with my husband and three kids. And on this channel, we do cash stuffings and tutorials. So today we're talking all things savings challenges for 2023. I have a new setup. I have some new challenges and I'm also bringing back some familiar challenges that I have already completed. First of all, if you missed my unboxing video, I did unbox this gorgeous resin binder. It is from Chicky Treasures on Etsy. She did a phenomenal job. She put my name, she put these gorgeous keychains on here, some peekaboo corners. It's just like the most beautiful binder that I own now and I'm so, so happy that I get to use it for my savings challenges this year. So. I am going to be switching out these rings. I did order some of these rings um, from Amazon. So I'm gonna be changing out the rings today and kind of setting this up as well. Um, I don't like that these are very loose, so I'm going to use these instead. So let's go ahead and take the rings off while we chat a little bit. So if you did not see my last video, I did do my last cash stuffing for 2022 it was kind of bittersweet um, I did say goodbye to um, some of my savings challenges that I had been doing the whole year and really since I started my channel so yeah it was a little bittersweet but I'm really happy with the progress um, that we have made with our savings and I'm excited to make even more progress God willing in 2023 so I'm gonna put all these to the side, I will use those for something else. So, the only oops with this binder is that she accidentally, this is actually the back cover and she um, accidentally put my quote on upside down. Um, yeah, so, cause I asked her to put a quote on it. You have been assigned them at this mountain to show others it can be moved. So I thought maybe I could just like turn it this way and use this as like the inside back cover. But these gold knobs do stick out. It really is meant to be on the outside. So I'm not sure, this is all smooth. I'm really not sure what I should do. Should I just leave it like upside down or should I turn it the right way? I think for now, I'm just gonna um, leave it upside down, I guess. When I put these new ones on, I guess that'll be okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do my little charms all on the very top. So let's put those on first. Like that, that'll be really pretty hanging off the top. And put my front cover on. Yeah, that'll be really pretty. And then let's open up these. All right, so now we are ready to add some savings challenges to this binder. Let's see. Let me close it and make sure that these are gonna work. Make sure that everything looks okay first. Yeah, I like that, that looks really good. Oh, so cute, these are so cute. So there is a way to put um, this part on the inside of the binder. I actually have my um, rings that way in my other two resin binders. I might um, end up like switching that around off camera, but I'm just gonna do it like this for now. So that looks really cute. All right, so we're gonna open it back up and start adding um, some challenges to it. So let's start with the challenge that I did unbox in my last unboxing video and this one is from Easy Budgets on Etsy. So if you didn't catch that video, go check it out. This one is called the Mom Can We Savings Challenge and I have three kids. So I just had to have this savings challenge. It's so precious. Um, all of this money that I save in this challenge is gonna go into my kids envelope because they're always asking me, can we go get pizza or ice cream or go get a toy or something? And I really like that it's 150 and all of the amounts are not crazy high. So it'll be easy for me to save a little bit here and there. And it does come with its own envelope 
Mom Can We Savings Challenge, and I love that it has three hearts for my three kids. So I just thought this was really, really precious. So we are gonna be doing this savings challenge next year. I'm gonna pop that in. It's gonna be the very first one in this binder and put the envelope right behind it. Okay, so the next two challenges that I'm gonna be putting in my binder, they go together. So let's look at this one first. So this is my 12 month savings challenge. And this is mine. This is available in my Etsy shop at Home in the Sun. So you can go check this out if you really like these. Everything in my shop is digital. Um, you just purchase it and you download it and print it off yourself and cut everything out. It's super easy. So I am a little bit obsessed with these. Um, I love them. So each icon, I didn't make these super high. Each icon is only $10. So we have $50 for each month. So here's January, Happy New Year, February, March. And basically what you do, you as you save $10 in that month, you just color in an icon. And when all five icons are colored, you will have saved $50. Here's April, May, June. July and I can't decide which one is my favorite because I love them all. <laughs> They're all really, really cute. August, September, my birthday month, October. I love the little cute owls and the pumpkin. November, we got some pumpkin pie right here and December with the cute little snowmen. So yeah, I really, really like this. I had a lot of fun designing these and I'm really excited to be doing this in the new year. And like I said, if you wanna do this along with me, just go download um, this from my Etsy shop. It's not very expensive and you can print them out yourself. So I do have another savings challenge that is gonna go along with this savings challenge. So after I say $50 in January, I'm going to be taking that $50 and I'm going to be putting it into a sinking fund. And I've seen some other channels do this as well. They will do a savings challenge and then take that money and put it into their sinking funds. And I really like that idea. So for this challenge, that is what we're gonna be doing. So I do have another challenge to go with this challenge. And it is this, it is called the roll with it challenge. And I did see this on Iris Budget's channel. Shout out to her. She does a version of this as well. So this is my version of the Roll With It Challenge. So when January is complete, I'm gonna take that $50 and I'm going to do the Roll With It Challenge. And I did steal this 10-sided uh, dice out of my son's math box so I could use for my videos. So basically I'm going to roll my dice. So that would be a seven. I would go down to the sinking funds that I have chosen. So seven would be household and I would put that $50 into our household fund, if that makes sense. So I just went through and picked sinking funds for me. If you wanna um, put this together for yourself, you would pick your own sinking funds to do with this challenge. So these go together and I'm really excited to be doing these as well. So we're gonna be putting the roll with it challenge into the binder next. And then after that, let me put the dice over here. Then after that, um, I'm just gonna put all of these into the same envelope for now and then I'll separate them um, out later because we're not starting this right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my 12 month savings challenge in here. And I think that is all that is gonna go in this binder. I do have more savings challenges for next year, but they are separate and they're not gonna be going in here. So let's see how this looks with just these challenges. So pretty. So mom, can we? With the envelope, the roll with a challenge, and then the 12 month savings challenge in this binder. That's super pretty. All right, so the next savings challenge I'm gonna be doing in 2023 this is a rollover challenge from 2022, and this is my $1 savings challenge. Um, we're gonna keep rolling with this challenge because my jar is not anywhere near being full. And since this does not have a stopper, 
we have to bust it open. So we're gonna let it get as full as possible before we do that. Um, other channels do their $1 savings challenges differently. Some people just keep their dollars um, in an envelope. I really like the idea of keeping them in this jar where I can't go and count and see how much is in there. I wanna be surprised when we are finished. So we're gonna keep on rolling with this one into 2023. And another new savings challenge that I'm gonna be doing in 2023 is this 3K savings challenge. And I did purchase this from Iris Budget. She is in the UK. I love watching her channel, go check her out. So she has some really, really cute savings challenges in her Etsy shop as well. There were several other ones that I wanted to buy, but I wanna finish this one first before I buy any more. So this one is really pretty. I like that she has the tracker right here at the front so I can use my Sharpie and cross off each amount as I save. And the envelopes are just really, really pretty. She has the amount on here, 100. And I like that she did the peekaboo style envelopes. Here's a 50, 150. So I'm really excited to be doing this challenge next year. And I'm really, really happy that I purchased it from her. Like I said, she has some really pretty stuff in her shop. So go check it out. And at the end, she has this cool quote, stay patient and trust your life's journey. So this one, I'm very excited to start. Now my spinner savings challenge that um, I just completed, that is gonna continue on into 2023 because that challenge is saving for a family member's wedding sometime in 2023. I don't know what the date is exactly. And so that money is going to roll over into this challenge. And when I do my first savings challenge of 2023, I will take that money and I will roll it over into this challenge. So this challenge will be the continuation of that one and be saving for that wedding next year. Okay, so the next challenge I'm gonna be doing next year is a familiar one. I have done this one before. I did complete this challenge in 2022. This is the 100 envelope savings challenge. And this particular one is from Tara Budgets. And it's just fun. Like if you haven't done a 100 envelope challenge, they're just really fun. They're really fun to do. It's fun to see the money sticking out of the envelopes. Now, previously I did put amounts on each of my envelopes. I believe I have 10s, 15s, and 50s. So here's 15s, let me make sure. 15s, they're all together. I believe that's what I have on each one, 10s, 15s, and 50s. I'm not gonna go through all of them right now. But what I decided to do for next year, I'm not gonna follow the denomination amount on each envelope. I'm just going to make it random. So whatever I have available, I'm gonna stick in an envelope. I decided not to be such a stickler with this challenge as I was the last time that I did it because it got to be a little stressful trying to get the exact denominations to stuff each envelope. So I'm just gonna stuff whatever I want <laughs> into each envelope. And the money in this challenge for next year is gonna go towards debt. We are still working on debt. Um, we have two debts left. So that is what this is for next year. Okay, and my last savings challenge that I am so excited to show you guys is my new coin savings challenge. So this past year, I just had my little bank. It was a little cow and I called it my moo bank and I would just stuff my coins in it on camera. And I get that like, that's not the most exciting part of cash stuffing. Um, it can be a little boring when you're stuffing coins on camera. So I was trying to come up with a way to make it more interesting, um, you know, more pretty and things like that. So this is what I have come up with. These are my new coin savings challenges. And I have to say, um, they are pretty gorgeous. So I have four different ones. So this is quarter, dime, nickel, and penny. So let's look at the penny one first. So these I made myself. Um, I do not have them up in my Etsy shop yet. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna put them up. I would really like to sell these like as a tangible item. However, my shop is all digital right now and I may be able to sell tangible items in the future. I will see how that goes. 
So this is my penny savings challenge. So after you save each penny, you'll just cross out that penny with a Sharpie. This is laminated, so I can erase the Sharpie and I can reuse this when this is finished. It has room for 100 pennies on here. That is $1. So as I save each group of 10, I'll also mark off that amount. So 10 cents, 20 cents, etc., all the way to $1. Then I can roll those coins and I can start the challenge over. And I am going to store all of my pennies in these really, really pretty bags. I love them. And I did decorate them with these 3D butterflies. They're so sparkly and so pretty, you guys. I love it. So that is our penny one. So let's look at the other ones. So we'll just look at them all at once. We'll get them all out. And my concern was for the quarters, like this has 100 quarters on it. Will 100 quarters fit in here? Yes, they will. When I was dumping out all of my change from 2022, I had over 100 quarters saved and I put them in here to test it and there was plenty of room. There was actually room to spare. This thing could probably hold like 200 quarters. So it is definitely big enough for 100 quarters. So this is my quarter savings challenge. It's set up the same way as the pennies. Um, 100 quarters equals $25. So as you save each quarter, you'll mark off the circle. When you get to the bottom, you'll mark off that total amount. 250 is 10 quarters set up the same way. And for whatever reason, I had kind of a hard time coming up with this coin challenge. Um, it was a struggle. I don't know why. I just couldn't figure out what to do, how to make it pretty, how to make it more interesting. But I'm really happy with how it came out. So here is the dime savings challenge. The total is $10 and the nickel savings challenge and the total is five dollars so i'm really happy with how these came out um, i hope it will be more interesting for you guys to watch if you if you do watch that part of my videos where i'm stuffing coins and i may just um have these as digital downloads where you can just download these trackers um, if I don't decide to start selling tangible items in my shop, if I just want to keep it digital. But they came out really pretty, you guys. I, I like just love looking at them. They're so sparkly and all of that. So the last new thing that I did end up getting is a new bank envelope. And this is it. And as you can see, it's, this, it's uh, very similar to this one. It's just a different size. So this is gonna be my new bank envelope. It's not a savings challenge, but when I go to the bank to pull cash, this is the envelope I'm going to take and I can just stick my money into it. So you guys will see this in my cash stuffings when I pull my money out. So that is all the savings challenges that I plan on doing in 2023. And I'm super excited to get started with all of them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And thank you as always for watching, for liking, and for leaving me love in the comments. And of course, for spending some of your very precious time with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for a wonderful year. Here's to 2023 and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.